Hey friends, it's Atreus here. So let me ask you, have you ever felt like Windows 11 is watching your every move? Like you are just trying to set up your own computer and suddenly bam. Microsoft is like, sorry buddy, you can't continue until you hand over your email, your details and maybe even your first born child. Okay, maybe not the last part, but you get the point. Basically, Microsoft really wants you to sign in with a Microsoft account when you set up Windows 11. Before, there were a bunch of little tricks we could use to skip that step and just create a normal offline account, what we call a local account. But guess what? Microsoft blocked most of those tricks. Remember the old method? You would press Shift and F10, open command prompt, type in some magic spell like obey, backslash, bypass and arrow, and then it would reboot and let you set up a local account. Well, Microsoft killed it. They called it a security risk in their official blog post. But let's be real, what they actually mean is, we just want everyone tied to a Microsoft account. Now here's the good news, there is a new method that works and honestly it's even easier. No reboot, no complicated steps, all you need to do is, when you are stuck on that sign in with Microsoft screen, press shift and F10 to open the command prompt, then type this, start space ms hyphen cxh colon local only hit enter and guess what a new window pops up where you can just make a local account directly put in your username add a password if you want then click next and you are done that's it you are in no microsoft account required i mean that's how simple it should have been from the start right why do we have to sneak around like hackers just to set up your own computer the way we want and honestly, this is what bugs me. It should be a choice. If someone wants a Microsoft account, let them use one. But if someone prefers a local account, why not just give the option right there on the setup screen? Why hide it, block it and then patch out every trick people find? Anyways, once you do this trick, you will land right on your desktop with a local account. No cloud syncing, no forced sign in, just your PC the way you want it. Now a quick note. Microsoft doesn't like these bypass methods lasting very long. They keep patching them, so who knows how long this one will stick around. But for now, it works. And honestly, it is probably the easiest one yet. So give it a try and let me know in the comments what you think. Do you prefer using a Microsoft account or do you like keeping it old school with a local one? That's it from me today. Thanks a ton for watching and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. This is Atreus and I will see you in the next one.